What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best hitters that you should be investing in to make tons and tons of stubs in MLB The Show 22. If you enjoy stub making tips and investments and anything else related to MLB The Show 22, whether it's XP methods, XP glitches, stub methods or stub glitches make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video hit that red subscribe button let's fight the algorithm let's get into today's breakdown if you're looking for a super super fun and easy way to earn extra money follow me on underdog fantasy and use cold fat dollars for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks all you got to do is come in here make one dollar bets two dollar bets three dollar bets it don't matter choose your players come over to the right put the amount in one dollar bet you have a chance to win three dollars back i will be giving you guys free picks follow me on my twitter and i will give you a discord link and let's have some fun so the first investment that's going to help you make a lot of stubs will be the 79 overall taylor ward now right now He's almost at a thousand stubs already, but you are investing for the next two roster updates. So if you get him right now before he goes gold, because if he turns gold, you have to spend at least 1200 stubs to get this card. So what you would want to do is you would do buy order, go to create buy order and look to that right side where it says sellable at. So looking down there, I would go in between the gap and I would do 826. I would try to do at least five or more. So 826, you would do that five or more times. And then once he gets upgraded, them orders will have to shoot out to you eventually in like 24 to 48 hours. Now, the way Taylor Ward has been playing, he's on track to at least be an 83 overall with an opportunity to go diamond, 85 overall. So if he does go to 85 overall, you can quick sell him for 3,000 stubs, okay? Remember, you are getting him for in the 800s. So that's over a 21 to 2,200 profit on each and every investment. Over the past 28 games, Taylor Ward is betting the 376 with nine home runs and 23 RBIs, okay? He also has five doubles and two triples. And he's leading the MLB with the highest betting average out of all people. Okay, so this is a good investment. It might not pay off in the next roster update next Friday, but the one after that, with his consistency, you will start to see a lot of stubs being made. Now, the next investment would be Eric Hosmer. Okay, he's betting a 346 with 24 RBIs and four home runs. So he's not having the power, but his batting average is showing consistency. He's in the top five in batting averages in the MLB. For 196 stubs, if you get him for 196 stubs and he goes up to gold, that would turn into a 1,000 quick sell. Okay, so it might not be this roster update. It might be the next roster update, but that would be over a 800 stub profit. And that's what this channel is all about. Hoping no money spent players become stub millionaires. Now, a person that has been improving is J.D. Martinez. In order for him to go up the diamond, he will have to keep hitting with power. Right now, he only has five home runs and 19 RBIs. Once he get up to the seven, eight home run range, he's batting the 333. As long as he gets up to that seven, eight home run range, you will start seeing him hit 83, 84 overall, and then you would know he's real close to becoming a diamond. For 451, you still have a 600 stub gap to make profit on him, okay? He's playing up to an 83 overall with inside edge. If you look at his stats, he has plus 15 on contact right. So if he's a little more consistent against left-handed batters, if he can get his power to about 75, his contact to about 78, That'll put him up to the 84, 85 overall range. This investment is Josh Bell, 84 overall. He's going for 1683. Inside edge, he's playing up to an 88 overall. He's in the top seven in betting average, and they don't have the three to four year period. So he 
how he plays this season is going to decide and I'm almost 80% sure he will be diamond in the next two roster updates. He's betting a 328 with four home runs and 22 RBIs. Two or three more home runs over the next four to five days would definitely get him that plus one bump. Right now, his inside edge is up to an 88 overall. That would be a pretty high diamond. That's with plus 12 on the contact right and plus 12 on the power right. If he can get his contact and power about another plus four to plus five, he will have enough to boost himself up to that diamond tier. For 1683, like I said, you can go in right here, use the same method for no money spent, put him in on that right side in that gap, try to get him for as low as possible. I would do about 1650, put as many orders in as 1650. Once it becomes diamond, the orders will eventually shoot out to you and you will be making about a 14 to 700 stub profit on each and every investment. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with your notifications on. Last live stream, we did a giveaway. So I'm going live tomorrow, maybe Saturday. If this video gets 40 to 50 likes, there will be another giveaway for all the supporters. The next one is gonna be pictures. So I'll see you guys in 24 hours. Stay tuned.